They call it that. Don't they call it the OOTD? Oh, for sure, yeah, it's a hashtag. The OOTD. The OOTD. It's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. It's the most wonderful time of the year. I hope you're all having a blessed, having a lovely Christmas. There are so many festive and exciting things to enjoy at this time of year. And if you follow my videos, you'll know that one thing I always love is fashion. One of these dresses is brand, brand new, and I can't wait to tell you about it. I thought it would be fun to take a stroll down Christmas memory lane and look at some of my past favorite holiday dresses, which of course I still wear. It's especially special getting holiday dresses out because I remember the year I bought them, the first Christmas. I wore them this polka dotted one I got this one a while ago but I love bringing it out every year and I definitely wear it far into the winter and it's so beautiful and it's got such a gorgeous silhouette it's by Alicia Estrada stop staring it's got these three quarter length sleeves one of my favorite things this cute little heart rosette on there and just the black and polka dots it's so classy it has the the swishiest swirliest skirt which is always <laughs> one of my requirements when I look for dresses, it doesn't have any pockets, sadly. That is the one thing it is missing to be just absolutely the ideal dress. This sweater I actually found at the Bass Outlet a few years ago. Just look at the mountains and the way they're like reflected below. It's just such a beautiful sweater. And it's even more special because I found it at Lake Placid. I actually have a Lake Placid vlog from our trip last year that I'm hoping to get up this holiday season. So maybe you guys will have already seen it or maybe it will be coming soon. I found this at the Bass Outlet in Lake Placid and this like almost looks like Lake Placid. So it was just the perfect spot to find it. The only problem with it is that you can't tuck it in because like you need to see the whole mountainscape. You know, that actually might look cute. With this skirt, this is actually a vintage find from eBay. You know what, I think I was looking for a black skirt for a Mary Poppins costume for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party because we did a dark side Mary Poppins one year and this popped up in the search results. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's actually a really subtle um, kind of, oh, it's almost a little see-through. A really subtle sort of floral, almost poinsettia design. And then there's like a black lining underneath and this silver braid. It's just the perfect skater skirt. Again, super swishy. It goes perfectly with these two, this silver blouse actually belonged to my grandma. So this is like the perfect vintage outfit. It's so sparkly and just the perfect silhouette. And it almost has like a little bit of a peplum because it comes in right at the waist and it buttons up the back. So beautiful. And then if it's cold, I might wear this sweatshirt over the top. Look at those sleeves. Aren't those beautiful? Where is this from? Who, what, where? So it must have been from Target. These bell sleeves though are just so pretty. I was just wearing this the other day in my um, 20 classics to read in 2020 tag, booktube tag, if you haven't watched that yet. I have three Christmas skirts here. One of them has Christmas cupcakes on it. I think one of you guys actually uh, sent me a link to this or a picture of this on Instagram. And then I looked at it on Mod Cloth. I decided to wait when I first saw it, but then after Christmas, it turned up in the sale and it was like $15. Best deal on a Christmas skirt ever. And the cupcakes, how perfect. And then these two are both mountainy alpine scenes. This I actually wore, my family went on a trip to Switzerland this summer. It was a super memorable trip and it's been super, super fun editing the videos. I feel like I mention my Switzerland trip in other videos kind of a lot. But see, the YouTube algorithm is not being very kind to my Switzerland vlogs and I feel like it's not showing it to all of my subscribers. So if you haven't watched those, you should go check them out. And if you have been watching and commenting on them, just know that means a lot. But anyway, Switzerland, the Alps, it's the red, the green of the of the pine trees, like there's definitely a Christmas vibe to Switzerland all year long. This skirt I actually found kind of randomly on Amazon. And just look at how adorable with the red church and the red berries, it's so beautiful. And then this one is an anthropology find. Just look at that, it looks like an impressionist painting on this side. There actually is like a little cottage and some people sledding and skiing. You know, I'm sensing a subtle theme here. I really like the the mountainy kind of uh, Christmas skirts because, of course, they're perfect for Christmas, but then you can continue wearing them well into January and February. 
My sweater today is also an anthropology find. And I'm actually wearing it with a skirt that I bought on our trip to Europe. We visited Salzburg in Austria, as well as Switzerland. Traditional Austrian clothing is called Tracht, and there are stores all over Salzburg. The locals wear it around town in the evenings, the beautiful dirndls and skirts. It looked charming in the summer, but it's so beautiful and wintry too. I'm not wearing the belt right now, but the skirt came with this gorgeous, gorgeous belt with the clasps, so pretty. I didn't hang my dirndl up here, but I'm thinking I might have to wear this uh, Christmas week as well, because it's got a kind of Christmassy look to it. This was the dirndl that I bought. Look at these beautiful red roses and the green pattern. It came with this red belt. I picked out a pretty white shirt to go with it. You guys know that I love the dress shop at Walt Disney World at Disney Springs. They have such cute styles there. Even when I'm not getting one, I just love to see the new things that they have in. And I do have two Christmas things from the dress shop. This one, you guys actually talked me into. I tried it on at the dress shop and I posted a picture on Instagram and I had said, oh, if this had sleeves, I would buy it like in an instance because I really do like dresses with sleeves, especially for Christmas and winter time. But I got so many comments that it made me think about the dress more and I realized, you know what? It is so perfect. It doesn't matter that it doesn't have sleeves. I ended up finding an adorable little black bolero to wear with it. Since then, actually, I've worn it with like a black turtleneck or a white shirt underneath and it looks super super cute. It does have a belt that goes with it. It's just got a super super swishy swingy skirt like the most beautifully swingy skirt you can imagine. And those candy cane colors are so adorable. I love how they put the lime green in here that really makes it pop. And then this dress, can you see the pattern? Mickey and Minnie and Donald and Goofy and Pluto and Bambi and the chipmunks. You have Huey, Dewey, and Louie, a little Christmas castle. Just such a charming, adorable Christmas print. This one I actually often also wear with um, a black turtleneck or a white shirt underneath because it can be chilly. This one has pockets, which is pretty awesome. And now we come to the final dress in today's uh, Christmas wardrobe tour. It is brand, brand new and so, so special. This is by far and away the most elegant, the most beautiful item in my wardrobe. This dress is in my closet but this dress is also in the closet of Kate Middleton, the Duchess of Cambridge. I absolutely adore her style. I love following the royal family. Kate and William seem so sweet. This year, they did a holiday special with Mary Berry. If you like um, the Great British Bake Off, you will remember Mary Berry. For years, she was one of the hosts. She has tons of cookbooks. She's such a sweet TV personality. And they did a Berry Royal Christmas. So Mary Berry went along with William and Kate on some of their charity engagements. And then she helped them plan and uh, uh, cook for this for this big uh, holiday party for the people that work at their charities and it was just oh my gosh such a well-produced um, piece because it was like cozy and holiday-ish and you had Mary cooking but then you also had Mary talking to William and Kate and you got to hear some kind of behind the scenes things about their kids and just like their normal home life but then they also did a beautiful job really spotlighting the charities like they really gave them a great feature so you got to know like what is this charity William and Kate are working for what do they do like what are these issues I just thought it was so so well done it was uh, done by the BBC I don't know if the BBC has made it available on their website. I think maybe not. It did pop up on YouTube, which is where I watched it. And I actually heard about that and also heard about this dress from the blog from Berkshire to Buckingham. Jane is the name of the blogger, Instagrammer who runs that. She has a great Instagram as well as a great blog. In the novel Emma by Jane Austen, Mr. Knightley says about, um, oh, who is it? Robert Martin, this farmer. He says, I never hear better sense from anyone than Robert Martin. And that's the way I feel about Jane from, from Berkshire to Buckingham. I never hear better sense from anyone than from Berkshire to Buckingham. Obviously, she writes beautifully and shares all the news about um, the Duchess of Cambridge's fashion because Kate Middleton came from Berkshire, so to Buckingham Palace. She sometimes also shares perspectives on other things and I think her perspective on the royal family is really balanced. I remember when she posted about this dress um, originally when Kate Middleton first wore it, which was a couple years ago, and I just absolutely loved it. And then earlier this month from Berkshire to Buckingham posted on her Instagram story that it was on deep sale from Saks Fifth Avenue, the Saks Fifth Avenue outlet store. 
So I went ahead and took the plunge and I'm really glad I did. I think I will wear this like for the entire rest of my life and it will be always so special to know that the Duchess of Cambridge, who I love and adore and whose style is just kind of the pinnacle of perfection, that she also owns it and she inspired me to add it to my wardrobe. So this is by Marchesa. Not Nate Marchesa. I don't know a whole lot about designer things, and I don't own like anything else designer apart from this. Look at this belt. It's like the embroidered beads and it actually came with some extra thread and some extra beads, I guess in case you ever break some off. And then the fabric is so, so unique. It's got these like rosettes, but also this kind of X pattern and these beautiful little puffs. And the color, oh my gosh, it's just this perfect red, deep wine kind of color. I do like that it has kind of enough of a cap sleeve. Kate's actually had a little bit more of a sleeve, but she probably had her tailored the skirt of course, is a poofy and perfection and puts all the rest of these skirts to shame. But I have two last things to show you really quickly. This is the bonus Christmas coat part of the video. I found this red capelet on Zappos last year and it's so beautiful. With the double buttons, it's almost got a little bit of a sort of military vibe. It's got this black and white plaid insert at the back that makes it super swingy. I just feel so, so elegant and fashionable whenever I wear this. And then speaking of capes, this coat and capelet I picked up in the Mod Cloth Black Friday sale. I saw it earlier in the fall and I was like, wow, that's an amazing coat. The reason I love Mod Cloths is that, is that I feel like you find these things that look like you found them. It looks like I bought it in Switzerland. Like, it looks one of a kind. Look at the little berries on the cape. And the cape actually, if you could ever bear to take it off, the cape does come off. Look at how it's lined with a dark green to kind of satiny fabric. And you could also just wear the coat all by itself. It's beautifully beautifully tailored so it fits perfectly, buttons up the front. I've never had um, a coat with this swirly of a skirt before, so it's pretty great. See, without the cape, I feel like it would work perfectly for St. Patrick's Day. Actually, the Duchess of Cambridge often does a St. Patrick's Day appearance, and she always wears beautiful green coats. So, so there's some more kind of Kate Middleton fashion sneaking its way into this video. Well, that's about it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this Christmas wardrobe tour. A very, very Merry Christmas to all of you followers. If you're not following along yet, you should definitely hit subscribe here on YouTube. You can follow me over on Instagram, Bookish Princess. Make sure you give this video a like. Let me know your favorite holiday fashion memories down in the comments. Do you have an outfit that really sparks some Christmas joy? I hope you guys have a magical and a merry day.